I, uh, my, my tour bus um, is a, a piece of shit RV. <laughs> like, oh yeah, <laughs> I, you know you know the one I wanted to buy the one from Stripes, you know the one that, that GMC made <laughs> oh. with the six wheels. I always wanted to redo one of those, and there's one that's the the it's the Palm Desert package or something, and it's like two, total Ron Burgundy. It's that fucking 70s green with the floral, like captain's chairs and a green shag rug. And I was just thinking, man, if I ever fucking redid one of those, put a humidor in there with some cigars and shit. Oh, the moving cigar lounge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mobile cigar me? lounge. Yeah. Sick. I know. But then you got to watch because then, then all your demons are just right there. <laughs> <laughs> put a stripper pole in here. And then was, yeah. 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 I, that's another thing, too, I learned. That's when my drinking got out of control was when I brought it home to the house. And then I could, oh, there's a, I don't have to go out to a bar. Because before, like, I always had it under control because I had to go out, you know. If I felt like getting a drink, but I was at home and I was watching a game, you in your sweatpants, it's like, dude, I don't want to fucking take a shower and fucking go out and do all of that shit. So then you just wouldn't drink and then it wouldn't get a hold of you. But when I had it at home, yeah, I had this thing where um, part of conspiracy theory, uh, you know, it, it, you get massively overwhelmed and depressed when you're reading that shit. Um so how I, I then I after I got out of the conspiracy theory shit I went the other way, and I started watching like Me TV and all these old fucking <coughs> shows from when I was a kid and everybody on those shows drank and smoked, <laughs> so I would just sit there. They were drinking. I was just I was drinking with like Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. like every fucking night watching Seventy Seven Sunset Strip, and uh, and you know it was started off with this, then it became that. Then my wife started getting on me like, Jesus Christ, look at the size of it. I started, I go, it's a home pour. I started, <laughs> <laughs> you go out to a bar, they take out the eye droplet. It's just like, it's not a fucking drink. And then I remember one night I came, I've told this story before, I came down the stairs because she goes, don't have another one. When you have three, you start snoring like your dog here. So I was like, all right, all right. And then I was like, oh, I just have two. I can just have two, all right? And then I was just like, you know, there's still you know eight minutes left in the shell pour another one so i poured the other one and it was over and i was walking down the stairs to our bedroom and i didn't know if she was still up or not i literally was hiding it on the side of my leg trying to make sure the ice cube wasn't going to clink against the side <laughs> of the glass and i was just like i am like this close away from having a bottle in the back of the toilet let me let me just step away from this shit so um i'm not like an alcoholic you know what i mean but i, I do think that addiction is like is more of a spectrum than you either are or you aren't. And I think that if you're a habit guy like me, no different than sugar and salt. Like I never crave McDonald's unless I was in a jam and I ate it. And then for like the next three days, mm -hmm. like I see the golden arches everywhere. Like, dude, I'm going to get a fucking yeah. another double cheeseburger, man. So yeah, I smoked a cigar and then I was like, man, are these bad for you? Then I looked up, I was like, how many cigars did George Burns smoke a day? And it was like 10 to 15. I'm like, great. I can do two a day. You know, it's like, it's so easy There's for me no to way. There's yeah? no way he smoked 10 to 15 a day. Why? Google told me that. I don't know. I know. And if you know who put that information out there? A cigar smoker that's trying to get his <laughs> wife off his back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he smoked 15 a day. Christ, I'm a lightweight. Yeah. I'm only smoking seven. America. If you thought Jackass Forever was crazy, oh boy, do I have a show for you. It's a multimedia comedy show called The Bucket List Tour. And the stuff I filmed for this show is way too hot for Jackass. Like the general anesthesia bike ride, the vasectomy Olympics, and skyjacking. The footage is so intense, we have full grown men passing out at almost every city this bus goes to. So if you think you can handle it, get your tickets right now at stevo.com. Yeah.